Now Amesbury and Bogard getting ready to go, and go they will. Amesbury and Bogard do the gentlemanly thing. They take off their gloves, they toss aside the helmets, and here we go at center ice. Amesbury and Aaron Bogard sizing each other up. Amesbury with his right hand up. Both men still jabbing away. Now they'll grab. Bogard tries to get the first shot in with the right hand, still clutching the jerseys. Neither guy able to get an arm free. Amesbury tries an overhand right that didn't connect. Bogard's got an arm free now as they spin around at center ice. He takes Amesbury down. Amesbury pops right back up. Bogard throwing right hands. Amesbury finally gets a left hand free. Right to the face of Bogard. Amesbury with a left free. He goes back at Bogard. Jams the elbow into Bogard's face now. Trying to get the jersey off of Bogard who dishes an elbow pad. And then Bogard with a huge right hand completely clocks Amesbury and takes him down. A clean shot there from Aaron Bogard to end that fight. Amesbury to his credit. Oh, the kid can take a punch. Goodness gracious me, was that a haymaker from Aaron Bogard. Right across the chops of Amesbury, who went down, but then popped right back up and motioned to the BOK Center crowd to cheer him on. A good bout there that Daniel Amesbury most decidedly lost, but you've still got to give it up to the kid for having some kind of courage on him. Really not a whole lot happening in that fight until the final moments. Amesbury may be able to get one shot in with the left hand and then sent a forearm shiver into the grill of Bogard, but it was Bogard who ended things with authority. As we're watching the replay here on the BOK Center big board, they danced in front of the penalty boxes. Bogard finally gets positioned, and as his jersey was coming off,